Welcome back to Star Trek Resurgence. We just uh, got Starfleet is here, but they're a little too much. Talk to Portal. What is this? Yeah, let's talk to Portal first. The Cotabula. Where are I you? Can feel the you invisible? Don't get too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down. Did you bug out? <clears throat> are you floating? Are you in the ground? Okay, I think it bugged out. Guess I'll be around somewhere. There he is. Dangerous. I wouldn't do that. We have to turn off this energy field to enter. I must do it. It requires the hands of a Takon. Is it working? It started. Is the opening wide enough to get through? Ah, uh, no. Well, is it wide enough? No. But I can see the cartabula. What about now? Ah, uh, still no. What are you doing? I can't fit through that. Ah! I still can't your get hand. in. Stand back. I'll try again. Widen it with a containment field from the tricorder. Oh! I don't think we can crowbar our way in. It takes a Takan to do it. Uh oh. I literally hit the button. 
run. Jeez. That's far enough. Get her. Oh my god. You don't even give me a chance. Carter, I could have killed you both easily. But the part of me that is still Miranda won't let me. She compels me to bring you into the fold. I will make you one of us. Miranda wouldn't want that. You don't know her like I do. Punch. Oh, right button this time. That's different. All this time, it was always left button. Soon you'll understand. see what happens. We haven't used this yet. Let's see if it works. Finally. Finally we can be rejoin the flame. I don't think so. If I just chose to kill her. Are you all right? Carter, I'm sorry I hesitated. I tried to keep her from getting you. If I just shot her sooner... It's okay. I don't blame you. She's really gone. For good. I can't believe it. It had to end this way. She was suffering. Am my soul going to transform? Ooh, he's beat up. Uh oh. I held back the barbarians. Not all of them. Miranda got. Carter. You have to go. 
draconian blood now. You must go and finish this, my brother. I want to know what happened if I didn't. Seems like it was made so that it would happen. I wonder maybe uh, if I had chosen to kill her, maybe she still would have got me, but then the, her, she would have given me the deuterium or whatever it's called. What? No! I demand it! You're talking to the guy that's in charge. Pipe down while I'm at work. Carter, you're kind of scaring me. It's okay. I'm still in control. Reach the Cartabula. Very good. Are you all right? Yeah, we're inside. That's what matters. Two of ours are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. I'm receiving tricorder transmissions from the away team. They're picking up our warp core resonant frequency. We feel like Starfleet should have sent a whole lot more. They're bleeding us dry. Can't but be all we have. They're not just taking our power. They're routing it through the Cartabula. Sign. To the other side. It's a very efficient system you got there. There. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? Oh, what am I supposed to be doing here? See matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both steam runner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from bioforming, but this warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. Vermont away team. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. Captain, if they want to take all of our power, I suggest we give it to them. How? Overload it? 
and the other Starfleet ships work together and send maximum warp output tuned to those same frequencies, it could overload their core. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. I wouldn't Do it. risk this ship without good reason. Do it. We need to strike back. And we'll lead by example. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. I've got faith in you. And the rest of this crew. Now let's give them hell. Yes, Captain. Hmm. That's not what the caption said. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. thing wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. You can help me get the job done. That's the fight that matters most. But it's not the only one. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? Hold on, I'm... Hold on, I can do better than this. I know it. Now that this plan's in action, I have more to work with. Inertial dampeners are failing! All warp power still being drained to the Aphelion. So that part of the plan is working. Now we need the others to join us. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that will siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That's given them exactly what they want. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydek. <laughs> We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. are joining us. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. No. no. The Cartabula. It's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the Resolute. Try this out. What? Oh my god. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? I don't know. If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm just doing what I always do. I'm an engineer. Following the data. Good enough for me. 
Sending data to the Resolute. Updated telemetry coming from the await. We have a new target range. Sending new parameters to engineering. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. Hey, do it. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. Thank you, Mr. Chobok. But I'm not Solano, and this is no experiment. I need you to match the frequency and increase the output. Very well, Captain. <laughs> I didn't think that would be uh, a green. I don't really understand. Uh, some of these um, make them more friendly, less friendly. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. We got an overload here. It's at the breaking point. What's happening? We got a problem. It's not going to eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. Gotta make sure it doesn't go off the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing. Run. Yes. to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. The most precious time. I saw what you did. The sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. We must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured.
Our work here is done. Let's get out of here. <coughs> three to beam back to the Resolute. Um, really three? Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't lock on. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. So is Portal actually gone? Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but we have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good, but we can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. That thing is down, not out. We'll handle the stolen Federation ships, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelion. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or? Or I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. Can't take much more damage. So what? you want us to go closer to that thing? We need to stay out of the fray. Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. in position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced <coughs> to eradicate you. The damaged Cartabula is continuing to release deadly amounts of radiation. Thankfully, it's still contained within the Aphelion. They have combats on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here if we... I don't care! Never submit to your federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. So much for superior beings. You don't look so superior from here. Uh, I don't have to listen to this. We've crossed the eons to get here. By a salvo! Too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern. From here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I don't have long to do this. I'm bioforming. It's happening, Nilly. I have to be the one to do it. If you send them, we'll be stuck here. Give in to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <coughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. Time's up for me. If I'm gonna get you out, it's now or never. I don't want to leave you. You aren't. The time is now. Ugh.
away team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Remember when I said this wasn't over? <laughs> it is now. Please, we uh, target the ship. Pummel it to space dust like we did to s fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Reidick. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem mm. with that. Hopefully that doesn't happen for a while. I think we all have some patching up to do. Out here, things rarely wait for you to be ready. But from what I've seen, you're ready for anything. No, I, I, want, I want time off. Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... Uh, we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people, support your ship. Captain, I must remind you that when an enemy is surrendered, it is our duty uh. to render aid. You saved the storage crystals. And there are other Takan. The bioformed on Hotari. On this very ship. We wouldn't be wiping them out if we didn't help the ones who tried to destroy us. This is the Starfleet way. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we... Don't have much time. We submit. Oh, I'm gonna ride this one. See what, what happens. I can say. This is what separates us from them: the fact that we can make a gesture of peace even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems, lower your defenses, and prepare to be transported. Thank you. I wouldn't Carter. trust him if it was real. Hey, I...
My first order of business will be to help reestablish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Olydians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Mm. With all there is to experience, to learn. You don't have to be the queen to lead your people. In fact, you don't need to have a queen at all. There are many different forms of governance. But one thing I know is that Hotari would be lucky to have you. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. But there are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydick. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. For others, it takes facing complicated losses. To Carter. How do you say goodbye to someone who isn't really gone? <laughs> I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. All hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that Nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. and coherent, bound by our shared struggles, and working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved, but perhaps that too can change in time. Well, I guess what's your face quit again? Make way.
space. The, the final, final frontier. frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are... Resolute. Resolute. The end. Anything else? Back. Well, I think it was a good story. I don't like the fighting. It was a little weird. But, uh, I would like to see this as, like, an actual episode or series or whatever. It's a pretty good story. Thanks for watching. Bye.